Hello, if you're looking to pick up Kachin language, it is just the right podcast for you. This podcast is for Kachin away from our homeland, for friends from different parts of Myanmar, and for global friends. Just for your information, the language here is in fact Jingpo, one of the Kachin languages. Dear friends, when we want to learn a language and use it more naturally, learning by chunk is also a highly effective method. In this episode, we're going to pick up some useful chunks. Here's the first chunk. Pa ng krit ra ai. Pa ng krit ra ai. Pa ng krit ra ai. Don't be afraid. Relax. This phrase can be used when you want to encourage your friend who is frightened. For example, your friend has to give speech in front of the public and he's scared. Then you can encourage him by saying, Don't be afraid, relax. And one of the common situations in our kitchen society where we use is when you visit somebody's home and at that home there is a dog or if you're very fortunate you'll be greeted by three dogs then the homeowner will encourage you to come inside by saying don't be afraid the dogs don't bite we get some people love to keep dogs at home we believe dogs are the best guards for our homes all right the next one Pa and sang ra ai. Pa and sang ra ai. Don't worry, everything will be alright. Pa and sang ra ai. Sha sai yo. Sha sai yo. Sha sai yo, which means I'm going to eat. It is more like making announcement when you are the very first person to eat at the table. Or when you cannot wait for others to eat together and you need to eat first because you are very hungry or you have important to do things later, at that time, you make announcement by saying Sha sai yo and you can start eating. This small gesture is important in our culture when you are to eat without waiting others because Gachin culture is collectivist and we wait each other at the table. So if you happen to eat without waiting others or making announcement that you will eat first, then it would rather appear inconsiderate or worse, selfish. Let's review. Pa ng krit ra ai. Pa ng krit ra ai. Don't be afraid. Relax. Pa ng sang ra ai. Pa ng sang ra ai. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. Sha sai yo. Sha sai yo. I'm going to eat. As I have promised, I like to mention phrases that you have written in the comment box. What do you mean? Pa sun me you ai rai. Pa sun me you ai rai. How are you? Gja ai yi. Gja ai yi. But we don't usually say gja ai yi in our daily conversation for the same meaning, how are you? When we see a friend, we greet as sha sai yi. Sha sai yi, which means have you eaten? It's a way of greeting. Or we can say e grade. Grade, which means where are you heading to? Where are you going? That's a way of greeting. <laughs> so you can say gja ai yi or you can simply ask sha sai yi grade. That's all for this episode. Dear friend, if you want to know any word or any phrase in Jingpo, please write it down in the comment box and I will try to include them in the next episodes.